Abuba Bono and Yamo Buta, Coporigis or Saka. Amen. All right. If you have any question to ask from the message or on Horemo or any teaching, you are free to ask a question. Abuna, the Ajajo Bola Yumere, Banere, Ijozian Horemo. How many of you have questions to ask? How many do you have? One, two, three, four, five. Let's start with our brother. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to ask this question. Okay, my name is Evangelist Pastor Sheridan. I'm from a human bar, no? Abum Onye Himen Bano Pastor Evangelist. Evangelist Pastor Sheridan. Evangelist Pastor Sheridan. Go to Yana Kunkwanabo. Yes, um, just like our mommy said about uh, CPM, I have been to CPM service before. I was able to partake in their Sunday school. They were teaching all these things in that particular Sunday school about women wearing earrings, Cortez, Wivon, and all what not. I think CPM. Oh, we're going to be able to have a good Sunday school. And I'm going to be able to have a good Sunday school. And I'm going to be able to have a good So they were saying that these things lead a lot of women who are truly in the Lord to hell. But when you look around, you will see that very few of them are the one dressing holy. So now, in Horimor, I Me can say that maybe 99.9% or hundred percent are dressing holy. Abiyanan zukani bu horemo ila ya siteni si we renodo hane eji eji dika ndi kechineke. So my question is, how come members women in horemo understood it very well and they were obeying the scripture? What our dad is preaching? They are all scriptural. I have had a dream. I'm a witness to this teaching. I have had a dream about a pastor, my pastor friend, the church where he planted. Just very, very few are dressing holy. I had a dream on that Sunday morning. I was to go to church about him. I didn't even know that it was him until when I went to church. The dressing and the color and everything about that man revealed to me that it, it was the man that God was revealing to me. And in the dream, I was told that, I was even crying in the dream, that no one that is doing all these things that will make it. When I joined, when I joined, you see, now, 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 you could, Pastor Porika, now, all to us, you could see here, oh, um, one, yeah, you need a way, jigari, a jiji, when a ruby, see, kezi, maka, ndin, koza, na, kuziria, hadi, eme, ya, obu, zereba, gini, bu, isi, se, ponte, my question is you taught the church and they listened and obeyed like every almost everybody how come in some churches I know they do teach them in some they, they do teach them but not very often how come all the women are not complying Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. 
Uh, well, from his question, he's asking. Uh, in some churches, they make mention of this, but they don't comply, or not everybody. But in Horemo, everybody is complying. Why is it so? The answer can be those churches are not speaking with conviction with assurance and with certainty. They are preaching with a kind of apology. And ah. if you like to do it, you do it. If God has not convicted you, leave it. They are not assured themselves that what they are teaching is necessary to go to heaven. And so when the members study them, I know that they are not really sure. They are not really convict, convinced themselves. The members don't bother. But here, having known very surely in the word of God, and having got it confirmed by the revelations of God, in those it takes to heaven and to hell, we preach with total conviction knowing that it is part of the teaching if you don't do it you are not going to heaven ni me hore mo obogi nani na ina ewete ihe ina akuzi na okonso anyo onwa inwere uwanya nwekwa nkwa gide nke sitere na mpuge nke chineke ma ndi chineke mere haga eli gwe ka oku mo aina ekwe na ekwe eho ha oburu ni imegi ya iga agonari onwe ga eli gwe we choto onwe ga oku ala mo if you don't comply, we ignore you. You're not a serious Christian. You're not a holy Christian. So we don't give you attention as much. That is why you find the people complying. And once in the majority, people are doing it Others will follow in order to conform. Not necessarily because they are born again. Not necessarily because they are convinced. But they have come to an environment. When you go to the house of uh, a, a king. And everybody is removing his shoes. What are you supposed to do with your own shoes? You remove them. So others, they have come to a place where they don't use this, they just remove it. But some, they are convinced that this is part of Christianity. So they remove it. Is that okay? Thank you. Yeah. Anymore. Next person. Give microphone to the people. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is uh, Ebringa Francis. I am Bobina Francis. Ebringa Francis. Yeah. Huh? I'm a member of uh, Holy Moor World Bank Unit. Let me start by thanking God for bringing me here and uh, for bringing me to Holy Moor. Let me first of all thank my auntie who introduced me to Holy Moor, Auntie Ifure. May God bless you. 
my question goes like this. I've, uh, I've, I've, uh, I've uh, always uh, been in uh, argument with my lovely sister who worships at the uh, Winners Chapel concerning the use of earring and other things. But uh, it seems that I always lose the argument because when she asks me this question, what facts in the Bible that condemns such things? So I will just keep quiet. I don't know the verse. So please, Daddy, I thank God that uh, this is my first time of seeing you live. So please, uh, I want you to please help me with the actual vaccines that condemn so that I will go back to her and tell her the reason why she, need, she really need to stop using those things. Now, which book do you direct him to go and buy? I've not. I just, the books that uh, my sister normally gives to me after reading, I return it back to her. So I do encourage her that she, she should come and visit my church. Why don't you buy the book, read it, and be a master, an authority about the matter? I will. Now, the Bible says that a man cannot be saved by his own work. Okay, I promise you, sir. I, I, will, I will purchase the book. I also have a, a very, a very, a very important. Do question. we have the books here for sale? Books. So go and buy divine revelation and scriptural exposition on believers' holiness and believers' clothing and adornment. Read it very well and be an authority to, def to preach and defend this doctrine. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Or oh, a small one that you can quickly buy is purify yourself. Okay. Get it. Okay, sir. So that you don't remain babes, always asking chill, chill questions of newcomers. Okay, sir. And another, another important question is that this one concerning marriage. I want to know, sir, if a lady whose uh, who's, uh, bride price was not paid but accidentally got pregnant for a man, so at the time the man keeps saying, I will come and see your people, I will come and see your people, uh, and the lady starts living with the man in the house, then after giving birth, the man turns the lady to a punch bag, beats up the lady every day with the kids. So the lady has no option than to run out of the husband's house. Then after that, she then met the former boyfriend who is supposed to marry her then, but uh, I don't know. So now she's begging the old boyfriend for forgiveness and also for proper marriage. Please, come and pay my bride price. Come and pay my bride price and marry me. If a person, if that person goes ahead and pay the bride price of that lady and marry her, will such person make heaven? I mean the man. Will such man make heaven? Thank you, sir. I have a question. 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 Mano mezu kwa ya mano Uwere mwa aboga abia Uwe na amu kese eti opo Oti katago ya opo Uwe balaga Uwe sute nye mwoke nke ene ya birindu na mbu Si abia aku uguwa ni isi nka mwana kipurudi na mwunya Aju jia uweburu Obo uno odi otoa Mawa nye mwonya lure alo Hake eje mwe ligwe There are some cases That are brought to the doctor In the hospital Enwero ufodi Ori ane butere dibyanu na opu and the doctor does not prescribe drugs until they carry out tests. If such is if such sister is a member of holiness of our movement that wants to know the truth, we must carry out proper investigation to know what is her case. Oda puto tuwa. Aige menyo chapuriche. We mara nkebe zio kuto ono de yasi wede. We will want to check up whether there is marriage between her and the first man. Aige achopota menwere. Iyebo eziboto ololo de netiti yana woke nkembo. If there is no marriage by our investigation. Is then we will check up whether there is marriage between her and the second man. Aburu na hicho puta ne wagi hiji kotora ni nonyen kembo na onono aiga na chigazu.
It takes investigation to know whether she's married at all or is not married up to now. Though she has passed through two men. It's not all the time that dowry is a factor in marriage. Sometimes marriage is held even if there's no dowry. We want to check uh, on the parents to know what role they played on the matter. And so we cannot just answer in a word except investigation is done. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, please, Daddy, my question is about these uh, doctrinal issues. I want to ask, is there any way that uh, these uh, biblical doctrines will be outlined? Because there is a serious problem in the body of Christ now. Some will say they are not given to preaching this some will be condemning and say there is a man now in the YouTube called Ebel Damina. Most of the, the biblical preachings, doctrines, this man is just bent on condemning, condemning. He will condemn uh, water baptism. He say water baptism, those that are doing, they are just uh, going for swimming pool. Those that are taking holy communion. He will name th these things when you are hearing. And some, some will say they are not given to preaching uh, hell, uh, preaching rapture. And this thing is causing serious confusion in the body of Christ. Is there any way that these uh, biblical doctrines will be outlined? Then the books, so that we ship, uh, disperse those, uh, those books, so that other people will know, some pastors will know, this is what they are to teach, to preach to their churches. Thank you, sir. television, <laughs> How many of you know the books that outline the doctrines we preach in Horemo, Holiness Revival Movement? You know the books that outline the doctrines we preach. How many of you have come across it? Yeah, which one? That is me, the people are not reading. This book, Holy Life, The Holy Life and Ministry of a True Preacher, Why I Have Found Grace in God's Sight, outlines the true doctrines of holiness of our movement. The doctrines we preach with explanations Akukwa. with scriptures akukwa nyere nkowa banyere ozizi ni na inezi na hore mo ebe o de na mpara akwa nso ede potare nkoma my doctrinal conviction o uwanyam na ozizi one, the on the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible is the word of God inspired for mankind with final authority on all issues of life, personal, family, government, and society. Bible on Sobo Okustrena Chineke. 
nke kpugere nye maka odimma nke mmadu ni ihe metutara ndu nko onwea metutara alumalu na ihe ni ne bom ndu baburburu number 2 the trinity nka abo atoni motu god exists in three separate persons the father the son jesus christ and the holy spirit hadi mmadu itoji kotoro onu weburu otuchuku chuk chineke nna okpara na kwa monso these three separate persons exist through I mean, exist together through all eternity as one God who is the creator, the Lord, Jehovah, the eternal, the eternal, almighty God. Madundia, the atono oro, when he chiche, jikotaronu, buru tu chineke, buru chineke, buru chine, na elekota heni ine, ni heni ine, dinowa, ahani ine botu. 1 John chapter 5 verse 7, Matthew chapter 28 verse 19, Mark chapter 12 verse 29. Ega hoya na mpara kwa nson dia di chiche. Number 3, the humanity of Jesus. Nkato Jesus di konye bira no de mado. Number 4, Jesus the only savior of mankind. Jesus nkano onye bira buru onye nsopota nke mado. Number 5, the sinfulness of all men. Number six, salvation from sin. Number seven, water baptism. Number eight, sanctification experience. Number nine, holy ghost baptism. Number ten, healing. Deliverance, prosperity, and miracles. Number 11, the use of medicines. So, get this book, all the doctrines, well explained, that you can teach and defend. You have it here. Igota kukwa ihe ni inebu usoro uzizi nke dina akwonso odeba igeje wekuzi ehe wekwari aweme kamu umu madugo uwanya. Also check at the back of um, delightful revelation of heaven. Iga kwa na azua kukwa baraha delightful revelation of heaven. You will see all we teach and practice Iga outlined at the second side because the book is divided into two um Delightful revelation of heaven is revelation, and how to get there is outlining doctrines. Now, akukwa ekeri bo ake bayabo maka akukwa nwe nke di ana kari bo otu igesi we nwe ike jerue ligwe akuziri hendi geme ki jerue ligwe. It's when you don't read, you don't know. Abro ne gogi egagama. If you read. You will discover that the things for you to know are already there. As someone said, the best way to hide an information from an African is to put it in a book. The will not read. And so they will not know. The holy life and ministry of a true preacher. Why I have found grace in God's sight. Available for you to buy. Yes, that's it. Thank you, sir. Ndewo. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for this opportunity. To see that the Rika Mamilinda. And this land again. Yesterday was my first time to enter here. And I was really blessed. I thank God again for this opportunity to ask my question. By the grace of God, I am saved. 
My salvation came since 2021 when Holiness Revival Ministry came to MB, say where I was working. And since then, my life has not been the same again. Since 2021, my life has never been the same again. Since 2021, my life has never been my husband is a minister. In Redeemed Christian Church of God. Both of us had this message at the same time. And our bones was caught with fire. As a minister, we, we make up our mind that we must preach holiness in his place where he is pastoring. We started. My husband do not anoint people again. The church was complaining. In Redeem Christian Church of God. Every first Sunday. Sunday is anointing service and holy communion. And it's a must. So, two of us, we have not been going since the day we had this message. And he stopped it in his own parish. He changed the garment of the choristers himself. When you enter our own zone, our own parish, where he is pastoring, you might think that it's just deeper life or another thing he just took another different shape one day the zona pastor called me he said mommy your husband two of you have not been supporting my ministry that he has taken note that getting to a year and now that we have not been coming to anointing service or holy communion that one day my husband that parish might become an area an area parish and my husband might become an area pastor so no to ogena bem bo nwere ike ibuzi area diga abukwara area pastor since he is not supporting him e bo bu no na akwagida anyi because what you do to others that people will also do to you ni ye ni eme ndi ozo ka ha ga eme kwage that that we will see the way things will just go or na anyi ga ho ka ndi ma de ka desi akpo sanyagwa and indeed, we are not going. I say that it's not that we are not supporting you, but there are things you and daddy need to iron out. And he Where said that there is nothing to discuss about it. So what am I saying? What am I asking now? My, we don't go. We don't partake. Even in our church, a lot of people have left where my husband is pastoring. That he's bringing, they will say, ah, uh, first Sunday anointing, or they will go to other places. But that is not our concern. Now, to my own husband, and like every first Sunday now, we don't go to the zone. We don't go to the zone. And the man has been from time, if he calls my husband, he will not get my husband, he will call me. My 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 husband, I say, I say, Holy Communion. Daddy say that it's a most we go we get Holy Communion from people. But when you go to communion service and anointing service, the people even anointing and doing just the way I am before, is nothing to write home about. I say, are we walking in disobedience by not going because where uh, the place where the anointing and the communion normally takes place is at the zonal level and our area and our zone is also our area my husband we are just in the pastonage that is uh, in, 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 in another place so are we walking in disobedience i don't know how we can just because we are, we have strong authority it's just the place he is pastoring a lot of changes are taking place that is what i want to know <laughs> The disciples of Jesus, as I believe, 
used to attend the synagogues of the Jews to have the Pharisees and teachers of the law teach them in the synagogues. Ndi ne suzo Jesus na ga na odi no kpuru nde isi nzuko na synagogue we no de ebe ha na ezi ozizi. But with time, as they understood that the Old Testament had expired, and those people were still doing the things of the Old Testament, they stopped going there. Was it a sin to them to stop going there? I'm asking you. Yes. Was it a sin that the disciples stopped going to synagogues of the Jews because they were teaching old things that had expired? No. Why? Why no? Because they are not teaching the words of Jesus Christ. Then are you and your husband committing sin? When you knew that the, the church was the church is teaching a wrong thing and you stop going there, are you people sinning? No. Thank you. Mwana. Thank you. <laughs> Ma, uh, Daddy, thank you so much. Mm, okay, During women meeting, I've also my pastor have explained it, but I, they still put it to me in Revelation chapter three, verse eighteen. Say that I am telling them, remove this, remove that. That that I serve in Revelation chapter 3, verse 18. So I cancel thee. I say it's the word of God. All these things are figurative speech that God is just oh. telling us to buy the word of God, take it. He said, Why will God use that I see, uh, I serve? Uh, Daddy, when we came to women conference, he told me, and I put, he said that. I am not, if God tell them, hey, don't buy this, why will God tell them also to anoint their eyes with that thing? Revelation chapter 3, I verse understand, 18. don't waste time there. Uh -huh. So, tell me the best word so that I can win. Uh, well, uh, Every one of them knew what was the use of I serve. So the Lord was interested to communicate to them in the in the word of their understanding. But not that they should go and buy the thing. Jesus Christ said, uh, when I sent you to go for evangelism, did you lack anything? The people said, no. Now, I said, he that has no sword, let him sell his property and buy his sword. And truly they misunderstood him and went to buy sword. Peter said, I have two swords here. What did he say to them? Hey, he said, no, don't, it's not, that's not what I mean. It's a figurative word. So, Christian, otherwise Christianity would have been defending themselves. Rather, I am saying, be firm and be ready to stand in opposition to your enemies with this gospel. Be equal to the opposition that is coming to you so that you will not run away. But not that you should go and buy swords. That is not what I mean. Did you see Christianity using sword? No. It's because the a right understanding of that statement has to be received immediately. Oh God! You to see where I came from. I got to hear on if Jesus meant a sword, actually, why is it that Peter cut off the ear of the Pharisees 
uh, servant and Jesus fixed it back. I said, no, I have angels to defend me. I just communicate to you that you will need to be militant at this time that I'm going to leave you to face this gospel, to preach it. So, the people have the mind that if they use ISAF, they will see, was Jesus using ISAF? Were the disciples using ISAF? Did any godly man in the old time, man or woman, use ISAF? Jesus was not introducing a doctrine, but speaking the language they will understand. Jesus, That is it. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, my name is Reverend Daniel Igwe. I'm a minister with the Assemblies of God Nigeria. Assemblies of God Nigeria has been in existence for over 80 years now. I love the church. I love their doctrine. So, sir, my question is this. Hori Moore came to us as a non-denomination. But the direction the Horimor is going now tells us that it is not a non-denomination, that it is a church denomination. Eh? Come again. But the direction the church is going now tells us that it is non it is not non-denomination, but a denominational church. In 2019, I attended your program at Abuja. I witnessed some of the things you did there. So, sir, I want to know whether Horemo is a non-denomination or a denominational church. Thank you so much. Well, everybody knows that a denominational church worships on Sunday. Uh -huh. All through Imo State, there is no Horemo unit or chapter that worships on Sunday. That worships on Sunday. Amen. Amen. All through Nigeria, there is no unit or chapter that worships on Sunday. Na Nigeria ni ni ne ba buru buru manuku manande na mama owanya uno adeda ya engwagi unit time abo chapter ne pe oka do to to bo chioka. The headquarters of Horemo. The reason why we observe Sunday morning worship is because we have staff more than a hundred workers in the headquarters, and we we accommodate them. Na na ni ni si ono doanyi na abuja ni ni ngo rendi otu ayi biche bawa mande na rora ni rora makagi ayi na harapo hakangwe ofe no tu tu bochi oka ngo gebo zo hakaga we are there like a family staying together dika ezinu ono nde jikotoro ngo hana achiru chineke and that is why we gather on Sunday ya mera ef ayi juwe ne zikote bawa ne fechi anyo bochi oka in the headquarters only. Now I ask you, with this understanding, is Horemo a denominational church? Sir, please, I still have a follow-up question before no. I ask that one. Ah, okay, be free, be free. Now, does Horemo wait 
their members, baptize, conduct communion service. That is not left to a denominational church. The Bible does not allot such service to denominational church. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. As believing has nothing to do with denomination, so baptism has nothing to do with denomination. So if Horemo baptizes, why stop it? Because we preached the word and met the convert. Similarly, holy communion is not left to a denominational church. The disciples of old, that's in the early church, took holy communion. Even when the denomination had not come. Just as they gathered like this, we could have also taken Holy Communion. It will be part of it. And our members who want to wait in their churches, we allow them. Those who feel, because some of these churches reject them. Because they see them contrary. They reject them completely. Is it difficult to wait? If we wait a man who has decided to marry a woman and the woman has agreed and the parents have given her in consent, is it a sin? Did the government of the nation say until you are a denominational church? Don't wait. Or is it that Khan also has said, if you are not a denomination, don't wait? Has PFN also said, if you are not a denomination, don't wait. We wait our members who want us to do so, yet we are non denominational church. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, I'm sister. Amen. Amen. Uh, please, there is something that is not really settled within me that I want to get clearance. And what is it? Our people that practice. Okay, sorry. sorry. Okay, our people that we know that they are still practicing this traditional religion or they do all this, they observe all these customs. Most times, they come to us and tell us that they dreamt, they saw their forefathers. Their forefathers gave them message to do like this or to do like that. And we tell them that it's a familiar spirit. Yes. 
And now, in this our church era now that I'm seeing, most of us, most of our brethren, they will come and say they dreamt that they saw maybe our dead brethren gave them message to do like this or like that in the church, you know. So it's not really settled within me. I want to know. I want it. I want, I want clearance. Let me know whether it's not the same familiar spirit that we tell these people when they say they saw their forefathers and we say it's familiar spirit. Praise the Lord. In the book of Mark, Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27. It is, and as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. It is appointed unto men once to die. After this the judgment. So all the people who have died have died and are facing judgment. They are in hell now in spirit and soul. If you pick up somebody and start beating him, beating, he's crying, you're hitting him, you're, he's crying. Can he make a telephone call? Can he say, hey, here they're beating me, here, here they're beating me. Bah, bah, bah. Can he do telephone? If you see the condition of the dead in hell, you will know that they have... The, the, what would they even tell anybody on earth? Do they have any time to tell a person on earth when they are passing through fire? Bah! Poof! Poof! Bah! Poof! Poof! Upon their body. Will they be talking to anyone? Will they be talking to Beside, hellfire is a pit. <coughs> It's a pit you cannot climb up from. Somebody that is in the well inside. And fire, you pour petrol and burn him inside the well. Can he climb out of the well? That's the condition of people in hell. How much more? The man is in the pit. The Boko Haram threw him into the pit and is still surrounding outside. Can the man come out and call at his people? <laughs> Any person that comes up who has died, any picture you see, any resemblance you see, has no connection with that man that has died. It is the devil or God that can use the image of that person, not that person himself. It depends on the content of the message. You will know according to the content of the message. 
God is a good God. Chineke, boezi, chineke. He can use an image that you will not be afraid of. You will remember and give you a message of life. A message of righteousness. A message according to the Bible. You won't see evil in that message. It's God that used that person. Oh, the devil who wants to do evil, who wants to bring confusion, can use the image of that person and begin to say things that will still idolatrous things, things of witchcraft, things of evil, things of hate, things of all is the devil that a demon took over the face of that person and is using him. Otherwise, as for that person, is inside a pit of fire. Is surrounded by demons. Is being burnt every day. Is crying every day. He has no power forever to come up to appear to anybody. No, did he keep ya? Eko sumo kariki iga yiri honye omara onye ga ima kwa nkoma webe kutegi manozi gesi ni me apota gabu ye geji gegu ye geme ke ga tinya kari he na adigi ma ye geme ke ihe uzo nu ye nke chineke iga mata site nozi ahu onye osi na aka mana onye ahu bo onye nwura nwuru na oku ala mmo onwe tebe onwe nke iche ebe ona aka just as we know of these fake preachers who do their rng as our sister here said they put a mama on somebody's uh, <laughs> somebody's head and now say ah, yes there's somebody there your uncle, uncle. is planning is planning to do evil on you come can you come here yes can you can i have pure water from anywhere anywhere all arrange business demons do arrange for idol worshipers an idol worshiping community they do many arrange that when a child is born there can be a mark on that child yes the father that died had a mark. Oh, we have seen a mark. It's because of you are in darkness. And Satan wants to keep you in darkness. That's why he do a renji for oh, you. Ndiamu ma Jezebel no no wane emuka. Abia aga hazi chayi he. Abia merege oru ebube. Oto ake kwen susi eme ya. Oga otu mwoje ewe pota. Gacho onye di kan nagi. Onye ya karo onye ren nagi. Nye yimi di kimi naga. Opo te si he nagi biara go wa. Eh kwen su biara go wa. Bogi nagi. Satan cannot do a renji to me. He cannot do a renji to the church of righteousness. Because he knows we will discover him. Idol worshippers so far are in G from Satan. Because you refuse to believe in God. God himself has given you over to the spirit of deception. So that you will be deceived, deceived. Deceived until you die and go and, and go to hell. E babo ni juru ni gaga efe chine ken kedindo. O nye fe zege kwensu. O gori ege tata. O gori ege chi. O gori ege wane chi. Na gori ege bugure mbu ige abanili. We ege oku ala mo. Satan does this RNG for you. Because you are a captive in his hand. E kwensu na e jige azu. Kwe ni hini ibu o nye adotara na aga debo no. He tells you to go to the graveyard. He tells you to go and lie in the grave of your father. Then you hear a voice. My son. I know. What your uncles are doing. Hey, demons. Everybody say arrange. Oh no, when I say Archie Cotta Chaya, leave that place. All those Satan has, all the all Satan has told you, all the dreams you are dreaming, that is sending you to to darkness, to evil, making you to revenge, making you to to get more this, get more that. Is from the devil. Don't listen to them. 
those individuals have died and shall not come back. The, where they are, they cannot come back. Even if they went to heaven, as Samuel. Samuel. They went to, to paradise. It is not possible for any spirit to conjure, conjure them from paradise. Paradise like Saul went to the witch in Indo. Saul Gapuru And the witch say and say, Bring me out Samuel. Samuel. Where was Samuel at that time? Samuel on the In the presence of God. A witch who has no power like demon. A demon. Who has no power like Satan? If Satan cannot come to the presence of God, if Satan cannot enter heaven, can a witch have power above Satan to, in, to call Samuel from heaven, from the presence of God, from paradise, and say, come up somewhere. Can he do that? Are you hearing me? Does a witch have power? See me standing here now. Does a witch in Orodo? No Orodo. No Orodo. No No Orodo. No No Orodo. No to command myself <laughs> to appear in the water side. Does okay. she have that power? Okay. Okay. So she was she has no she had, the witch had no power to call the spirit of Samuel from from paradise. But then who came? Because somebody looked like Samuel. And spoke well. It was an intelligent demon. Who have been who had been following King Saul in all his matters? And understood what Samuel had been telling Saul. Had been studying the word of God. And knew and knew the mind of God. It was that demon that came out and began to speak. You disobeyed God. And because you disobeyed God, God will not hear you again. Why did you disturb my soul? This battle you are going for, you will die there. Who kills people? <laughs> Is it not the demons? So, all those things came from demons. Not from God. Don't deceive yourself. The where your father is now, he cannot come back. He cannot appear to you. Where your great grandfather is now, he cannot come back. Whether he is in heaven or in hell, he cannot come back. So, those things are demon worship. Don't worship demons. All these idolatrous things are demon worship. Don't worship demons. Otherwise, where Satan shall end, you will be there. God has destined hellfire for Satan. You will go with him to hell. All those charms they are giving you. Plant it in your house. Swallow this one. 
Go and take bath with this one. Better come to God and confess those things. And let God through prayer wash those things from your house. Go and root out those things from your house. Otherwise, demons are sleeping with you. You are dreaming you are seeing snakes. Is it not the charms in your life? Is it not the charm you swallowed in? That is moving around your body. Is it not the charm? Repent. Stop idol worship. Stop going to collect charm. Stop swallowing them. Stop burying them. Then, through Jesus, that devil will run away. You will come out of prison. You will be free. You will be free. May God make you free. Yes. Another person. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank God for being a part of this program. In fact, Satan really fought my coming here, but I thank God that I'm here to God be all the glory in Jesus' name. Daddy, I have three questions. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, I, as I was saying, my first question is about the second coming of Christ. Uh, the message of the rapture is well understood. But where I'm having issues is with the second coming of Christ. When daddy was preaching this morning, he said, he, he, he mentioned that same thing again. He said that during the millennial reign, that Jesus will come with the saints. And then he will reign with the saints for a thousand years. That is the second coming that of Christ. That is the second coming of Christ. I've gone out for evangelism and somebody asked me this question. In fact, I got stuck. I didn't know what to say. The only thing I answered that person was that there are some mysteries that we will understand later it's by and by. because you cannot read. That's why you are not summarizing mysteries. I told Praise you that the... go and read this book. Everything will become plain to you. You will not be summarizing them into mysteries. You will now say, this is how it shall be. Daddy, should I ask the question that is bothering me? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Where I'm stuck, where I always got stuck is about this millennial reign of Jesus with the saints. Because that person was like, where will the rest of the people be during that reign? The Bible said Jesus, uh, Satan will be bound and cast into the bottomless pit. He said, where will the rest of the people that time be? When Jesus will be reigning. And where will he be reigning from? Is it a spiritual reign or a physical reign here on earth? So I'm somehow confused about that. Then uh, my first stop. Uh, all those that collect that collect six 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 shall die. All of them. Okay. But there shall be people who will not collect six six six. Okay. Although they are still sinners. Those are going to form the natural mean that shall regenerate the earth, that shall replenish the earth. And they are the ones that shall fill the nations of the world again. And Jesus and the saints shall rule over them. Jesus shall be ruling in Jerusalem as the capital city. And shall send the saints into states, local government, and regions. Whichever way they shall sp split the world at that time to rule with him. Over this natural people. No can Jesus Gabiam Kuba Boa to be in our quack again in coma. Mogabian Kuba Boa Nini Natara Kara, E. C. E. C. Nakuisi, Hani Nega, Mocha Pam Pam, and we're in Dinaga and Atakara, Sitanaka, again, we're mobile. Oh, Bundi Otaka, Jesus Gachi, Oga has your teacher. Ogano na Jerusalem no bi nke David we na chimbo wanile enwere ike zika gidi ko nyo to aiga America bro president ha ko nyo wa imeza na ha Jesus however the government does voters card cannot reach everybody abanye go to si we di kan azon doro doro obu gi money ne ge nweta ku eja to vote ezioku there are people that whichever way you do it 
In fact, when there is accident, scarcely everybody dies. There are people that will not take this sicknesses either because of stubbornness or some other way, or because where they are living, the Antichrist armies cannot reach there. Ah, or whichever way, there will be people, and those people shall multiply again. Ah, banye gike Antichrist is a organe organe. Oga ge jide mu maduni ile. Age mwendi ga forderi. Standi a forderi nu kage jiwe mwe omo madu. Age jiwe meko waju puta kwa. Go ahead. So that the end, these same people now that will remain, are they the same people that Satan will tempt after he is released from In the pit? In fact, that's the mystery of man. They will be living with Jesus as the king in Jerusalem and righteousness and goodness and plentifulness and prosperity will be there but remember some of them have not known about him preaching on Jesus shall still be going on those who are living in the bush people shall still be preaching Jesus and you know sin didn't come from Satan but from Abel, um, Adam and it is in the blood of every man so there shall still be sinners People shall still be born sinners. And you will see the mystery that not everybody wants God in his life. Even when they know the, need, the goodness of God. See down. Look at people here. With all the preaching of righteousness and holiness. They are here as members of Horemon. Have they all believed? No. That is the same thing at that time. Now, I'm going to Jesus. I'm going to Jerusalem. I'm going to because is this sinners, is this people that Satan can come and tempt? But there shall be believers among them. Among the natural people. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for that answer. The second question I want to ask is about this church unity. That I want to ask, because I remember at one time I was, you know, having an argument with a man, a man that calls himself a man of God. And he said that um, God called people in different ways to preach different things. That he is called, because anytime he sees me, he will say, salvation preachers. That's the name he always called me. Then he said that God called different people in different ways. That's, that all of them are working for God. Then he gave me an example. He said, if you go to the throne of God in heaven, that do I know the reason why that God surrounded his throne with four different beasts that has different faces? That those faces that I'm seeing, this one has a face of an ego, this one the face of a cow, this one the face of a human, that it means the diversity of God, how God can be. That it means that God is just not in one place or doing one particular thing. Then I said, if that is the case, let me accept what you said that uh, the eagle face, the lion face, the cow face, and the human face, that they are all different people, different uh, whatever. But then, the Bible said right there before the throne of God, all of them we are singing one language, and that is holy, holy, holy. Are you getting me? So how come you say you are a prosperity preacher, and God called me in the area of healing, God called me in the area of deliverance, so we that we are preaching holiness, that that is the area that God called us. I don't get that. Ask him, do you know how to come to see, meet him? <laughs> I will. Ask him. Paul, Paul the apostle in the scripture, what was his own specialization? Go to question number three. Don't waste time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, this question I want to ask. In fact, eh, I wrote it down inside my book that when we get to heaven, I'll ask Jesus. Mm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because I'm so confused about that. That is John chapter 11 verse 35. The Bible said Jesus wept. Daddy, why did he cry? <laughs> no, 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 please. It's my question. And I need an answer. Because I went to that scripture. I read that place very well. To understand, 
Jesus came to that place and he told Mary and Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. He knew, he, he knew that Peter, uh, Lazarus died. He spent four days before answering that call. He knew all these things. But the Bible said when he came there, I am the resurrection, I am the life. Yet he wept. So I was like, why did he cry? Jesus Lazarus Jesus Have you also read in the Bible that Jesus ate food? That Jesus ate food. Ate food, ate food. Ate food. Ate food. Jesus he was hungry agro, and they gave him food. He ate. Yes. Oh, yes. Why did he eat food? Because he's a human being. <laughs> he wept because he was a human being. And normally human beings sympathize and cry. Okay, please, no time, no time. Let's praise, go for Praise the Lord. <laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm so happy to be in your midst today. Amen. Obi the Motoy no Tituno Tata. Daddy has answered some of my questions through our sister that asked the question about recarnation. But I am a little bit confused. Via mm. we Igbo, we believe in recarnation. And it is affecting the church of God. In the sense that some of us, even the pastors, even we believers, maybe if somebody died, they will say, ah, you will not go there and eat. You will not go and see his corpse or her corpse. That if you do, you will die. Something like that. I'm confused in that side. I want to know if reincarnation is real. Ah, uh, ma ma elowa awezi oku awezi na asagwa juju asena zuma na iwai manosi na abu na awezi oku gini mero forundi nke Christ na si aga kwane ba ne liuzu ka e e garemu aga kwana hu ironya ora hu. What did you gain? On the answer I gave the other sister. Can you read it now? Send you one nine one. I gain that recognition is not real. Yeah, you said that it is appointed unto a man once to die, but after death comes judgment. But we the Igbos, especially in this Imo state, because I am from Anambra, I don't know anything about it. But now I am married at Imo state. Here, when I came here, I was hearing about this recarnation of 18. To the extent that three people will recarnate one person. I don't understand. And it is affecting them. Now, stand properly and face the camera. Tell the Ibu in Imo state that recarnation is not, a, is not true. Speak it to them. I give you power. Amen. Amen. Reincarnation is not real. This is just familiar spirit. And if you believe in that reincarnation of a thing, it will be affecting your life. Amen. Finish. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, my name is Ibe John. I humble John Ibe. Um, I have this question to uh, but before I want to appreciate you, sir. I really appreciate the way you take time to answer people's question. God bless you, sir. Now go to say what to her and no be do mal and as and the The first question I wanted to ask was on the issue of uh more being a denomination or not denomination, but you have answered that one. So that brings me to my second question that I want to ask, sir. I want to ask this question, sir. According to most members of Horemo that I've interacted with, 
even my mom who is a member that invited me here and also the man of god that was taking people's testimony he said that place that you are and they are teaching you the wrong thing why not leave it and be a member so my question is this being a member of Horemo, is it a call for you to leave your church or a call for you to be a member and learn and go and teach them thank you sir Ajujumbo Nanyuku Ibu Onye Horemo or Ib Meka Isinan Zukogi Pota Kabu Ibu Onye Horemoko Ibia Motana Horoma Iganyaka Wekuzerendin Zukogi Actually Horemo is non denominational. It is all denominational. Ijosin ke Horemo de Rindini Nebundin ke Christ ma or as we call it interdenominational Horemo is for all churches if all churches will understand the mind of God then all churches should be for Horemo our mission is to make denominations righteous and holy. And to unite the body of Christ in the doctrines of truth, Me righteousness, and holiness. Me in this way we prepare the church for the coming of Christ our desire for the ministers is to associate with Holy more and learn this thing the Lord is giving to us here and go back to teach it to their churches. Same with the members. As you come from various churches to learn these things, you also go back there and teach them this. But you cannot maintain this truth if you are not together. That's why we have units and chapters. So I will, as the messages are being played to you, being preached to you, and as you attend conferences of Horemo, you remain fresh with the knowledge of the world so you can teach and preach to your people. member. <laughs> But the problem our members encounter, even pastors, is that these denominations are entrenched. They have sunk down root in their arrow, in their false doctrine, that some of them will not want to receive new light. Or for the Eh, denomination na oh ha ba go mboro go toji na nzu ko na ozizi ha buga he nwe gi ke na bata ihe ohuru nke ge meke mbo wedi ihe osokwara gi me ha ga cho ino gi de sere ekwensu we la oku mmo they see these members who have known the truth now as enemies coming to spoil their church ndia mutagore ezi oku ha na ha di ka ndi iro bia ri kwenye ha aja na gari they see them pouring sun in their eyes. They arise and persecute them. We don't want you. Get out from this place. And of course the Bible says if you go to this place and they reject you, what should you do? Bible says move to another place. If you are in a place and you try to tell them the truth, try to influence them, and they reject. They do their evil in your presence. If oh. You may not have the strength to bear with their evil because they may pull you back to sin. It is better for you to leave that place.
Aburu no nwere ebe ino imuta ga ezioku ina ha uzo acho ga ewere akwa keti anya ki kpuku ise uzo obu no ga ekwe gi na homume ega acho uzo gi Jesus meant to do go to the gatherings he healed a madman there he was to do more but they came to him and said leave this place we don't want you our economy is being affected please we don't want you did he leave Jesus onye obi oma bu ihe oma no bi ga no boro gatherings we gwo onye onye shi mebi na enye hansobu otu onye ahode ama kama ha ga enye ohere ka oru oru oma karia ase enwoke nka ihe mere ka enye ahi nsobu si ebe apua tupu ahi na ga imebe you are a minister you have come to receive great, brighter light and you go to influence your denomination but headquarters are saying stop preaching that stop preaching that he said but this is the word of god he said no Stop it otherwise we will dismiss you and actually they dismiss you will you not leave that place di ko nyo si bu di ka mara obo na ibe motezi okwu a nke ga edu bu mu mana na ala ezechi neke iwe la chi na zuko ga na akuzi e we si ni si miru we nya ga iwu si nwoke mu ku si ya ni ni na akuzi ai ga abogi mbe ikana eme achupu gi ikusi ikuzi ke di hi ga me gi na ga ga lu wog some of them that are affected in this way we draw and move to another church another denomination to be member there and so that they can be a fi- accept um, a blessing that denomination others withdraw and say we will not be we will not join any denomination we want to remain like this so whatever is their decision as long as they maintain righteousness and holiness they are accepted obonye ya boku mare bo na afuyofu ndi nke gagoro agba ha dika bi ona abu anu gba anwata ohu nuku ijiji owara oso is that okay now sir thank you very much to poru jizo saka just last person onye nka na abi akita abu onye mechi praise the lord hallelujah daddy i don't know how about five questions here Okay, Amen. Both, let me hear. Please, uh, my first question goes like this. That is as a prayer I was opportunity to attend. So, there's a, I found out that in that prayer, there's a tons, different tone that we are using. And that tone they are using, all the people here, there, that's among them, say, those that organize, the, that organize the prayer, we are hearing the tongues, except one person. And that, that uh, tongues they are hearing, they are using it to Will I say that the thing is directing them on where, according to them, maybe if there's anywhere they bury something, they will go there, they, that spirit is leading them, leading them, they go there. They will just drag that thing like that. They just go as if they're going to the bush and throw it away. They do like this. So I want to know, that prayer, is it real? That's my first question. I don't know it, but I don't think so. I go my rebel si riri ni yes e ba han we ri to ah ki won jere be re mo tunu si we be aya na ge mo to han na hore mo amen second question nka bo so that is my second question is on uh, the message you preach on Thursday concerning the commonizing God and his word so my question is here yeah, is this like when you were preaching you said that even a leader uh, uh, workers they commonize god let me use for instance let's assume that i'm a unit leader or a chapter leader and i discovered that even at the altar when i'm preaching at the pulpit i will display anger maybe before the the members uh at the point if there's any child or anybody that misbehave i will just shoot my microphone by the corner maybe Handle that be- a person may not be beating the person, but with a harsh tune, I scold the person. Daddy, thank God that after the message on Thursday, we all come out for altar call. But if we, as the time goes on, but we are not praying that it should continue. If such person should continue like that, what do we do? Should we leave the, should the member leave the, the unit for me? Maybe divert another unit, or should we still continue with that uh, leader? Praise God. I ain't never was a mequala. A Ozina Yukuzri, na Anne Meka, Aha Chineke, no Kuchineke, Brihan Eleda, Anya, Ajija Weboro, Obruna, Omer, Onion Lakota Unity Mobo, Chapter Nemo Tuaho, 
Neme e yumu mado eku on e kuka huru hala ni bere chineke. Eme cha oma lite kwa mebo to ha aiga ha rea eba ho wega chawa unit also. He has a leader over him. If you know he is doing wrongly, one, see him and tell him, Sir, this thing you did the other time, which I saw it wrong, I saw it this way. Others saw, saw it this way. Correct yourself. If he is too tough for you, report him to higher authority. Eh, <laughs> Na you come up on his shine, in your daughter, daughter, or dig him ma, or they would have never took one dozo, or one of your chore wagging in your now when he had gave me no gente, a gaku on your care no go, where Bessa. Praise God. Hallelujah. My third question is on uh, Daddy. I find out that, uh, um, like the area of earring jewelries. God has been helping us, like we are hundred children, little children. And God has been helping us, we are carrying it to our schools, and uh, they are body to eat. But there's area that is very tough for me, is on the area of uh, making use of trade. That's trade. We have rubber trade, and we have normal trade. So one that was discussing with a sister, a sister said, I should also tell the children not to be plating uh, rubber trade. But to me, I don't know how I don't have a strong word to stand on that. That I don't know a backup, backup to what are we used the area we use in the Bible to preach to the parents or the children concerning that uh, um, robot thread. So that I need uh, your divine that is a word from you that will guide me in that aspect. Praise God. Hey, oh my God. Eu tu esse jingua, os na chine que engenheira haka, meba na azo mo takere no la kuko, na ana emike ha, na ebe na nye an sobubu ihe je kisi, o je kisi, na umu haka asa he jiko na roba we kisi, ke debe agaro to haka na mpara akonso we badu kukusie yike. Listen, we are not pursuing the wind. Ayan age eti kuku apon, Paul said, I'm not boxing the air. Paul said, What we are pursuing is worthliness to ensure we remove worthliness from the believer. Why are we saying? You should not use attachment. You should not palm your hair. You should not uh, use weavon. Because those are false here. And the Bible tells us, don't change the truth into a lie. The hair God didn't give you from the beginning, don't put it on. Don't run after long hairs that will be dangling at your back. It is worth learning. That's why the women of the world do. I gonna turn to two in a mage bossy where he call ya on up again now. Oh, well, so me now staying at Chineke. Amen. No, and the Bible says, Love not the world. Neither the things that, that are in the world. If you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. We told you not to use earrings. Why? Because the Bible tells us you should not put on gold or jewelry. Because the holy women of all adorn themselves without jewelry. Now come to trade. Using natural trade. To tie your hair or to weave it is not a sin. Because 
But even that, you must avoid fashion. Plating your hair after the manner the world women played their hair. When I say the world, I'm talking about the sinful women who are looking for something to, uh, to appeal to somebody, to attract somebody in their pride, how they do it. Don't do it like that. I know I know one in the Bible says you shall, you shall know them by their fruits. Now come to using trade. Which type of trade that can give you normal, natural, clean hairdo? you will notice that all this uh, fashionable hairdo crept into the church in the 70s I mean, in the late 70s and eight, from that late 70s to the 80s when the women of old were using this siphon trade to weave their hair, it was normal, it was not for pride, it was just for cleanliness. But the rubber trade, when it came, it has a shining property. That you can see it glittering right from far off. That is considered to be worthless. It is now something put on for the pride of the woman. The wool that the woman introduces to her hair makes her hair very big. What for? Back again. Because of the thoughts of your heart. To, you want to look fashionable. To fascinate somebody. It is considered to be in your, done because of your pride. It is not the natural size of your hair. So, all these excesses, you are asked to put them off. And dress normal. We will hear natural with the decency of God. So that people can know you and say, this is a Christian woman. Some people will say, it's difficult to come as a fun trade. Even the tailor's black trade can be used. But not different colors. No, the normal black thread can be used. It gives you decency, neatness, and simplicity of godliness. There are people who come up again and say, don't plait your hair at all. Don't weave your hair at all. Don't tie your hair. Because the Bible says, not the plaiting of the hair. The Bible needs interpretation. Interpretation should come from holy people, holy teachers. Interpretation should come from, from the inspiration of God. 
Interpretation must agree with the total truth of scripture. People that have waved their hair in godliness or used straight to tie their hair in godliness, testimony has come after their dead who are real Christians that they have made it to glory. If a woman does not tie her hair, does not weave her hair, and leaves it so, gradually it will become short like the hair of men. And the Bible says, long hair became, become, uh, is becoming for a woman. Is for a woman. Men should keep short hair and not long hair. Then why do you leave your hair undressed until it has come to be that of man? Those are wrong teachings given to you. And now, especially in Igbo society, you have women that cut their hair and go with short hair. You will find it diff if they are in police force and dressed like other policemen, you won't know who is woman among them. If they are moving in the society, you see them moving with this short hair and the glory of the woman that is achieved by long hair, you won't see in their lives. And that's why so you who are of God among the women, don't cut your hair low and be moving with it empty. Maybe you pumped your hair and now you, you, want, you have believed in Christ. You wanted to cut the palm here. Cover it with hair tie. To make you look like a woman. Let people see you as a woman. In the society. So, this is what we should understand. Follow this teaching. It shall be well with you. Dress clean, dress godly. Avoid those people who say, I dreamed that Jesus told me, or an angel said, any woman that tie her hair, any woman that played her hair, avoid that dream. It's not coming from God. Thank you so much. God bless everybody. Mm -hmm. We are stopping him. Yeah.